create things that aren't to plan in practice. Chaos sometimes, because think about a six boat race, there's a lot of stuff happening. Your start is 45 strokes a minute and everybody's screaming and yelling and everything's fast and it's physiologically stupid. It's like a miler sprinting the first 200 meters. It's stupid, but they don't do that, but we do. So put them in those situations so that they can be composed in those situations as best they can. What do I love about rowing for Virginia? I think first, rowing for Kevin is just an unbelievable privilege. I don't think I've ever heard of or met a coach that cares as much about making you into a good person as a good rower. You're just motivated to, to keep getting better every day. Seize the day, every day, every piece, right? So keep that going. It's in your control more and more and more and less in ours. Own this thing, individually and corporately, owning it, all right? That's really key in what happens going forward. 29 days, actually. 29 days, that's less than a month. This weekend is the first step, all right, about making that happen and then keeping it going, okay? All right, let's go. So typically we have like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Tuesday, Thursday pattern. Um, so Monday, Wednesdays, we've been doing an hour erg in the morning just to make sure that we keep up our volume, especially in the spring. Wake up at around six o'clock, head to the athletic training room before practice, just heat stretch a little bit, and then we'll head to U-Haul, which is the Olympic sports facility, and we'll erg for an hour. So that's from 6.45 to like 8.15 in the morning, and then that gives people time to go to their 9 a.m. classes I'm a history major, so um, a lot of big lecture classes and seminars. The history department puts a lot of work and effort into preserving the legacy of Thomas Jefferson and the university. The buildings of the original university are just stunning and definitely part of the university's character and sort of psyche. And then 3.45 is when we start in the afternoon and um, typically those are then the harder practices. Today, three days before the race, go flat out, see what they can do. You can actually train women harder, longer than you can guys. You taper too long for women that they'll start to lose their edge. So, you know, physiologically, you kind of got to look at that. And you got to look at the psychological and the academic and all that. And there's, there's not a whole lot of science when it gets down to this time of the year. It's more like an art because it's not just racing. It's also school papers and final exams and it's brutal here academically. You got to be cognizant of that as a coach, you know, what kind of academic pressure they're under as part of the training too. So Survivor Night's actually pretty cool. I think it's a really special, special thing that we do. They host everyone at their house to watch the show called Survivor and it's every single week. And you don't have to come every week and if you have a lot of work you skip it and you go the next week. And it's really just a way to to be with the team in a setting that's not like competition and going at it. It's a home away from home. Forget about labels too. There's no should, there's no labels. It's like about like going fast today, right now, in my seat in this boat. We really only control what we're doing. Ready? And go! If we do X, Y, and Z and go at this speed and sustain that speed and don't slow down, we're gonna do really well, right? but that just goes so far. And so it's a combination of like, let's take care of business, let's take care of us. Let's also know what else is out there because that motivates us to do even more. If you respect your opponents, then it's gonna bring the best out of you. Can you get another second? Can you get one more? So if you do things really, really well in practice, then it allows you to just to play and, and to cut loose and take a chance and take risks. And that's what this, that's what life's all about. That's what this sport's all about too, is taking risks, I think. You know, like when, once you get to a certain level, then you can start taking those risks. Who's on three? One, two, three, pass! 